Hey everyone, it's Southern Bell Canto. Welcome back to my channel. I have another fun book review for you today. I just finished a wonderful new historical romance by a new author to me, Diana Quincy. And this is Her Night with the Duke. I absolutely loved this book. So one thing I really enjoyed was that our heroine was Middle Eastern. I am part Syrian, so I thought it was really cool to have um, representat representation of um, the Middle East and especially a Middle Eastern heroine. I just thought that was really cool. Um, I really want to share this book with like my grandma and stuff. It might be a little too spicy for her, but absolutely love the story. Love that we have a um, Middle Eastern author as well. So that's really awesome. I was so excited to read this. Um, just overall, I loved the story. It was a five-star read for me. Um, so, I mean, this is a really good cover. I've seen this book for a while, and it came out in 2020. But, I mean, with romances, they're published pretty frequently. So don't think just because it's from, like, a couple years ago that it's not worth a read or something like that. These are wonderful. I love this story. So this is book one in, is it the Clandestine Dukes? I don't think it says that it's this series yet. But I have book two already on my shelf. It's The Viscount Made Me Do It. So just super excited for that. So to preface this story, it begins with Delilah uh, Chambers, who goes by Leela. Or she, she pronounces her name not Delilah, but Delila. And Leela is basically caught in a really bad storm and she and her basically assistant like male guide and chaperone they stop at this sort of I guess uh, tavern or hotel called the black swan while she's caught in a horrible storm she's soaking wet and she is bombarded with rude drunk men at this tavern and at first they don't even want to help her because she's um, Middle Eastern so there is um, instances of racism in the story so if that's a trigger for you just know that going in that there are some characters that make racial slurs or comments but never our hero I will say our hero can be a little inquisitive but not in a demeaning way I never felt like he was demeaning toward our heroine at all he was just really infatuated with her but in a romantic sense not in like a weird sciencey you know explo explosive exp <laughs> not in a condescending way how about that so she's there at the tavern the black swan and there's basically no single rooms available and these men that are drunk are making racial slurs they're making verbal sexual assault basically and um you know she feels very threatened but luckily our hero is there elliot townsend is it right elliot townsend the duke of huntington he goes by hunt he says you know what i have a pretty large room why don't you sleep basically in not an alcove what would it be called sort of like a living room to the end so he basically has like a suite and he says like I think he gives her the bed and like you can have the bed and like I can sleep basically on the sofa couch or whatever you don't really have a sofa but you know the sateen or whatever so she reluctantly agrees she feels like well maybe I'll be safe I can lock the door it's better than a storm or it's better than being out with these crazy men so she goes in there and um she starts to basically take off her heavy clothes because she's soaked to the bone and goes by the fire to warm herself and the duke sort of comes back in and she's like uh what are you doing in my room he's like i i thought we were going to share it sort of thing and then um she's sort of annoyed that he's there but then she's not so annoyed and the two have a quick friendship that slowly becomes an overnight tryst with lots of love and passion and they separate in the morning reluctantly because 
he has to go to his destination. She has to go back to hers. And she's returning from her travels in the Middle East because her stepchildren, she, um, she needs to go check on the estate with her stepchildren. Her stepdaughter, I think, is basically said she has like a man on the horizon. So she's there to like basically return home, check on the estate, check on her two adult um, stepchildren. And when she's there, she finds out her stepdaughter, Victoria, Tori, is basically betrothed slash engaged to a duke. So her, her stepdaughter will become a duchess. Well, it turns out that the man that she, that her stepdaughter is betrothed, engaged, slash engaged to, is Elliot Townsend, the Duke of Huntington, aka the man she slept with the night before. So there is lots of tension, lots of angst, some taboo-ness because of basically the heroine has slept with her stepdaughter's betrothed, even though no one knew it. Um, so yeah, there's lots of fun spice, lots of romance, really great characters. I loved Leela so much. It was so cool to have such a fierce, strong heroine. And I really liked um, Hunt as well. He was a really great hero. I found that he was um, inquisitive, like I said, but in a in a really nice way. It wasn't like scientific or weird, like experimentation sort of weird stuff. It was just he was really bewitched, bothered, and bewildered by Leela. So I just really love that aspect. Um, I will say some other trigger warnings where um, there was a scene of um, sexual assault with the a villain of the story, never the hero, and there was of course some verbal sexual assault with the drunken men at the bar, as well as the, um, instances of racism, and there is loss of spouse as well as loss of parents. So those are the triggers I would say for the story, but I just love this story. I mean very angsty, very fun. I love a good forbidden romance where it's not like, it has a lot of pining, a lot of sadness, and like no one really got hurt in this book. So it kind of turned out that Victoria had sort of a boo thing on the side anyway that she liked. So I like that this didn't have anyone really get hurt in the story and um, just wonderful. So if you're looking for a really fun historical romance to pick up, um, check out um, Her Night with the Duke by Diana Quincy. Um, this is book one in the series. Um, I believe it's the clandestine something. I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's the clandestine Dukes probably. But the second book is The Viscount Made Me Do It and there's a third one coming out I believe in May. So really fun. So check out this book if you're looking for a fun historical romance. Don't forget to like, subscribe, as well as comment. You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Southern Bell Canto. And let me know if you want me to link down my Goodreads for y'all as well. So you can keep up with my, my what I've read, what I plan to read, all that sort of fun stuff. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye everyone.